right, here's the box that it comes in. Fairly large box. These are the contents of the box. You've got the robe. You've got our little hat thingy. The main body. The arms. The head. The base. The shoulders. The legs. The adapter. And these two O, o things that you O ring things that you're not going to need to use. Okay, the base goes down like that. The legs attach very easily. Just pop them, on, pop them on in. Then just pop the main frame in. Just connects very easily. Push in the little ball joint and connect it. Then the shoulders, just slide them on in. Very easy. And then the head just slides in through the holes. And now that little foam piece and zip tie, you can take that off. That's just there for shipping purposes. And you just connect the head with the three wires, color-coded. Very simple. And then plug the power adapter in. The little dial over top of it is for the volume. And then the step here pad, that gets plugged in to the upper hole. The other hole, I guess, is for audio out. And then you just drape, you, you put the, the robe on her, like so. And then you stick the arms through the armholes and attach them to the frame. They just slide on into the holes. And then there's these Velcro pieces here and there, just wherever you see them, just sort of attach the robe to them to make it stay on better. Right there in the middle, there's the motion, detecting, motion detector sensor. It's got a little hole cut out in the dress, and just make sure that dress isn't blocking it. Attach the little hood there at the top of the head. Oh, this is inside the face. You want to try to smooth that gauze out so it doesn't have crinkles in the eyes like, like it does now. Try to get them crinkles out if you can. Also the mouth, mine came with sort of a, a crease and a crinkle in it in the material. So I just tried to smooth that out a little bit. Just stick your fingers in there and straighten it out. Push out all the creases and then it should look something like this once you get the creases out all right now i had a problem with mine the third time i stepped on the step here pad to operate it the doll or the animatronic when it started to rise it got hung up on something and it started making this weird noise and i thought it was about to blow up but let me demonstrate because I was actually filming when it did it. And it makes this noise right here. And it was, it was freaking me out. I was like, what in the world is that? And I thought I was getting hung on the dress somewhere, but it wasn't. It was getting hung right there on that cable. It was getting hung on that metal protruding bar. Let me demonstrate. So as it starts to rise, that loop there in the cable was catching on this little metal piece right there. I tried to catch it. I just moved it out of the way or it would have caught it again. And that was making it malfunction. So I got some zip ties and put added three more zip ties to try to get those cables closer together and get that loop out of there so it wouldn't snag it as it went up and that seemed to fix the problem now it's working fine and thankfully it didn't break it because it did it like four times before I figured out what was wrong mm -hmm. so there's the hands, nice detail. They're plastic, but nice hands. Uh, I'm going to be using like a 25 foot 
extension cable with the step here pad to make it nice and long for Halloween night so I can have it way far away to operate it. And she's uh, fairly stable. I'm showing you pushing on her, trying to make her fall over, but she's not going anywhere. It would take a pretty strong gust of wind, very strong, to blow her over. Got some weight to her, so I like that. Now I'm testing to see if my cat is scared of her. The scare test. My cat seems to be unfazed right now. She's a little inquisitive, but I yeah, thought she would run away immediately. She's standing the ground and observing, not sure what to do. And then she sees that hand and I think that scares her. And she does start to run away, so that's good. So she got scared. Okay. A first impression of this animatronic is that it is big. It looks like an adult-sized old lady, not a little girl. I heard that last year's version was smaller. I would love to see the two side by side to compare, but I went with this version. Uh, you can still find the smaller version on the, on the net, but I thought this version would be more dramatic. It also appears to that it's like a witch pretending to have a little girl's voice and then transforms into the evil man's voice. But I like how this one reaches six foot five inches high. And by the way, I measured it and it really does go that high. It actually goes about six foot six inches. What I like about this animatronic is that it's definitely creepy looking. Gets real tall. The mouth is synced up pretty well. It's easy to put together, fairly stable. Now the things I don't like is I do wish that when the head got to the highest point it would hesitate there for about five seconds before going down. Uh, the motor is a bit loud. I don't like that. And I wish the speaker was a little bit better quality. It's got a slightly muffled sound to it. It's not bad but it, it could be a little better better quality in my opinion. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this tour of the new Creepy Rising animated doll animatronic sold by Spirit Halloween.